Now, there was that period in which they attempted to get together the nation and unite the people under Absalom. And we are told in verse 26, So Israel and Absalom pitched in the land of Gilead. Now they're coming after David, you see. They have gotten together as many as they possibly can. And we find that David was fleeing. And this seems to have been the entire life of David, that he spent his time running from somebody. And here it's because of his own sin, of course. Now, verse 27, it came to pass when David was come to Maonaim, that Shobi, the son of Nahash of Rabbah, of the children of Ammon, and Maker the son of Amiel of Lodabar, and Barzillai the Gileadite of Rogelim, brought beds and basins and earthen vessels and wheat and barley and flour and parched corn and beans and lentils and parched pulse and honey and butter and sheep and cheese of kind for David and the people that were with him to eat. For they said, The people is hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. Now, David actually was in a very difficult position here. He'd had to flee without any preparation whatsoever. Now, he finds that he's got many allies in people that are round about because they knew David now, and they knew what a warrior he was. And I'm of the opinion that these rulers of the kingdoms round about had very little confidence in Absalom. Absalom was deceitful. He was tricky. He would not be dependable, and none of them would have confidence in him but they did have confidence in David, of course. Now we find that by this time, David's men are able to get supplies now because of the help of the allies, then they can get ready for the battle. And Israel now, under Absalom, they come to the land of Gilead. 